20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So rep your city I really would appreciate if y'all roll with me I'm uh, feeling this music cause it makes me wanna step And if you don't wanna do, then you lying to yourself Cause every time we party, we gon' have fun I don't know about you, but I'ma rep where I'm from Rep your city Okay Rep your city Let me see the mic Rep your city Give me the mic Welcome, 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 welcome back again to the RYC Live show. This is Artistic, your host for tonight, and this is Rep Your City, RYC Live, Fresh Fridays. And we're back again uh, with a double feature. We had earlier uh, Brother DJ X-Ray. Uh, we had him on at 7 o'clock, or actually 6 o'clock. He was from 6 to about 7.30. And now we got another special guest, another legend here in Chicago, hip hop. You know, and look, we do this all for you all. This is, again, us telling our stories, sharing our legacies and, uh, you know, showing how much we love hip hop. You know, we want to not just keep it to ourselves, but we want to share it with you. So at this moment, we ask everyone to uh, share this broadcast, share this broadcast. Uh, you know, make sure you follow us if you haven't done so already on Facebook, uh, RYC Live, or Rep Your City on Facebook, or you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is RYC Live on uh, YouTube. Uh, send us uh, an email if you'd like to be a future guest on a future show at RYC Live at Yahoo.com. That's RYC Live at Yahoo.com. So let's talk about. Uh, our guest, our special guest tonight is a Chicago legend. Uh, he goes by the name of L1, aka DLJ. Um, he's a legend of Chicago hip hop, and this brother has been grinding since the 80s, doing his thing, you know, uh, you know, and real pure and 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 and, and down by law, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I appreciate his uh tenacity his dedication you know his hard work his loyalty you know what i'm saying always representing um coming from his neighborhood on 79th and carpenter you know what i'm saying you know and and just showing a lot of pride you know for what he's been basically loving for all his life pretty much you know and you know and, and likewise it's no different with the rest of us you know and this is why it's so important for us to come on to a platform like this so that not only we know our story, but we need to tell our story to other people so that they'll know what it is. Um, leave behind what your legacy is. Leave behind what your work is, all the things that you've done over the years. And tonight, we're going to find out, Brother L1, a.k.a. DLJ, we're going to find out his story. We're going to learn and listen. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Um, again, share this broadcast. Send us some comments. If you have any questions for our brother, make sure you uh, post them up in the comment area. So without further ado, let's bring him on. The one and only legendary L1, a.k.a. DLJ. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, <laughs> What's, What's happening, up, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> What's Great up, to see buddy? you, man. Man, good to see you, my brother. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Always, man. Word up, man. Welcome to the show. Man, thanks for having me to the show, man. It's, it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure, man. I like y'all grind. Y'all boys grind. Y'all get it in. Y'all get it in. 
Shout out to the rest of the team, RYC Live, Mr. RYC Live himself and First Lady Alicia, you know, and the rest of our crew. Um, shout out to the channels that we got going on around the country and all our viewers. You know what I'm saying? You know, we appreciate you all. Yeah. 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 So, man, let's get right into it, man. You know, I, I know it's been a long time in coming, man, you know, for us to sit down and have this chat, this chat, but... uh. Man, you know, I'm excited. I want to know. So what what when did you start, man? It's like that's like my first question is to everybody. When did you start in the game, man, with, with this hip hop well, that we know and love? Well, well, I was brought into hip hop about 84, 85. Okay. My brother used to pop lock. Okay. So coming from the hundreds, we used to stay out in the hundreds on 123rd. You know what I'm saying? So I was a shorty then, but I used to look up to my big brother. He used to always pop lock. He was waving, you know what I'm saying? He was the he was the man out there, you know, and everybody loved him. And, and I seen how the crowd always drew to him, you know what I'm saying? He'd do a show in the park in West Portland Park. He'd be, you know, doing his little waving thing, and he was a part of a crew. And uh, I used to look up to him all the time. I used to want to do everything that he did, and you know, he used to pop lock and used to break dance with all his buddies. So I'm like, man, what's going on with this here? Me not knowing, you know what I'm saying, what was happening, but I was loving it, though, when I was seeing it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So did you actually start doing it, any of that yourself? You know, dancing? Nah, nah. I really didn't start doing it until I, um, until I moved to 79th Street. Okay. When I moved to 79th Street, that's when I really started getting into uh, hip-hop and rap and all that. Because out there, I was just looking at it like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever. Y'all waving and doing all that. But when I got to 79th Street, it was a total, it was like, it was like going from 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 another country to another country because they too different. You know what I'm saying? The Hunts was this way, 79th Street was this way. So when I got to the nine, I got exposed to a lot of different things. And uh, you know, guys out there was hustling and you know, doing what they doing and all that. So as a youngster, you know, I came up around, you know. People that was getting money, getting money, getting money, you know. So that's what I started doing when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was getting money and hustling and doing all that. But what had happened was I uh, we used to go to this club called High Society, you know what I'm saying? And they, they changed the name about three or four times, High Society, was popping and all that. But us going to High Society, we used to always see JMD, Resky, Top Dog, Double C, Edgar E, hit the stage. Okay. Master M, all them hit the stage. It's just, man, it was getting it in. And I used to be looking like, man, th these guys really doing it. I'm talking beatboxing. I'm like, we was at a maze. Like, look at these superstars in our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing. And they used to rock, man. They used to rock to our society, man. And I was, man, I was, I was, I was impressed with it, man. I'm like, man, I need to be doing this because this is what's going on. This is what all the girls like in the hood, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I got a, I got a chance to uh, see them, you know, and uh, watch them perform coming up. So now, for the record, and for the viewers and those that may not know, where was High Society located? Uh, like 77 and hosted, like 77 houses, like 78 to 77 houses, like right on the corner. Okay. You know, not too far from the corner. You know what I'm saying? So uh, okay. it was right there. Okay. Nice little spot. Held a nice little crowd. So everybody that was somebody in the hood, we was always going there. You know, we'd always go to our society, you know, go kick it up there. Everybody up there flashing what they doing. You know what I'm saying? All the ballers. It was something like a, a, a pay the fool. You know, everybody okay. was doing something would be up in there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it it, it, it came to where it's, we was just all gravitating to each other because we was in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you, what kind of, what time frame are we talking in terms of year? Like around uh, when this about, was going on? Let me see, about, what, 86, 87? Okay, so the mid-80s. 89, something like that. Okay, mid to late 80s? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So were you rapping at the time when you first started seeing Top Dog and, and JMD and them on performing? No, I really, I really wasn't rapping. I was just, I was paying attention more than anything because okay. where I come from, I'm starting from Carpenter, you know, we had my man, uh, we had my man CP, may he rest in peace, you know, him and Deuce, him and his brother, they, they used to DJ. So when we first moved around there, you know, Asa, 
you know, we call them Dukes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Five time Dukes. They was DJing and doing all that stuff. DJ Armando and them, they DJing. So we look, I'm looking at them like, man, what's going on? This must be the new trend, you know what I'm saying? Because these guys, they get it in. Right. And um, really, I started rapping. Well, I wanted to start rapping when I started seeing Jam D now up at High Society. That's right. when I, you know, when I was, you know, I wanted to really pick up a pen and start writing. But I was in eighth grade now. When I was going to eighth grade, because me and uh, JMD, uh, we was going to the same grammar school. Okay. So as me and him was going to the same grammar school, you know, I was looking at him and I was like, man, I can do this. I can rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I can rap too. Knowing well that I couldn't rap. And I'm thinking that, man, I can rap just by putting words together. So, you know, when I seen JMD and them and Rescue and them sound like, man, they was polished professionals. Mm. Like, man, these boys been doing this forever. <laughs> and I found out the worst way. I, I mean, I found out the worst way, man. You know, I ran up to JMD uh -huh. on the side of 76 one day coming home from school. Uh -huh. I'm like, man, I'm like, man, I can rap. He like, man, you can't. He like, man, spit some. I'm like, all right, I'll spit some. So I'm spitting some old, some old nursery rhyme type stuff. He coming off sounding like Rock Kim and Big Daddy Kane. Man, I was, I, I mean, I'm about to quit. <laughs> I ain't gonna do this, man. You see us with this, man. You know? so back then is when I kind of like started taking the most serious when uh, I ran into him and uh, wow, you know, and he kicked some real bars, man. That man was kicking bars, man. Did you know he was as good as he was at before he started rapping that day? Nah, I ain't know he was a monster like that. Okay, I thought he was just you know because I used to hear about him in the neighborhood. Okay. But, when I got a chance to see him, you know what I'm saying, doing shows at um at High Society and all that, you know, and man, and, and tearing the crowd down, man, and I knew, man, that man, yeah, he took this serious, you know what I'm saying? And I was more like, I'm hustling. Yeah. I'm torn between, you know what I'm saying? Should yeah. I boom boom, should I keep hustling? Or should I start rapping? Should I hustle? Right, right. So I'm doing them both. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm hustling and rapping. Right. You know, but he pulled me to the side. JMD pulled me to the side, like, man, look, man, you need to do this for real, man, for real. You need to come holler at me, man, because I'm on 79th and Carpenter. He was on 76 and Morgan. Like, man, come on down. You know, man, we in the basement. We're going to be in the basement chilling down there. And uh, that's what I started doing. Like, nice. man, I'd be, you know, taking off after school, you know what I'm saying, taking off in the middle of school just to go hang down there with him uh -huh. because I knew he was down there listening to rap and bumping rap and doing all it's a lot of stuff that that i give him credit for okay because all that pause mixing that you used to hear dr dre doing back in the day uh -huh. and he do all that pause mixing and stuff jay was like the first one i ever heard doing that wow. ever heard, I, I ever heard doing that. i never heard nobody do that before i heard him do it you right. know right but when dre them started doing it I was like, Jay, man, dude, no still in your style, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what you do, you know. But you know, to keep it one, to keep it one hundred, man. I started rapping, man, when I just, you know, when I seen them guys, man, doing their thing, you know. Wow, interesting, interesting. Yeah, uh, shout out to uh, brother Kingdom Rock. He's checking in. He said, Stag Stadium. Man, can't forget about Stag Stadium, man. Da Smart. Yes. Kingdom Rock, Ice Cold, the Ultimate Warrior, EL Radio, aka Raheem, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Everybody used to be up there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up there, stag, man. If you were somebody that was in the hood from, you know what I'm saying, from the South Side that was rapping, man, our meetup place was at Stag every night, man. By 11, 12 o'clock, man, we go all night long, man. Just going back and forth, man. That's when I met DA Smart. I met DA Smart up at Stag, you know what I'm saying? Met Kingdom Rock, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, me and Flame Rock, you know, me and him was real tight. You know what I'm saying? Me and, well, me and Flame Rock still tight. You know what I'm saying? Like right, 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 right. Flame Rock and Taco. But it's two tacos, though. I'm not talking about the taco from our west. It was okay. the taco from our south. Okay. You know? So me and him, you know, me and him used to get together and write little bars together and all that. Okay, okay. Now, uh, Kingdom say JMD is the king of Paul's mix. Now let me ask you something real quick. Um, the taco that you talking about from out south, was he also a graffiti writer? 
No, nah, he wasn't no graffiti writer. He was okay. more like he was more into um Taco was more into the streets, you know what I'm saying? So he wasn't okay. graffiti writing or doing none of that, but he loved hip hop though. Okay. He loved hip hop. I can that's say it, that much. He that's interesting, hip-hop. man. That's interesting because I know of, I don't think I I don't think we ever met, but I knew of another taco from the south side, but he was a graffiti writer. Nah, this taco wasn't a graffiti writer. He wasn't yeah. graffiti writer. He may he may have done it, you know what I'm saying? But uh-huh. he wasn't known for graffiti writing or tagging or doing okay. none of that. But he loved hip hop, man. He was okay. into karate, man. Okay. He was a real kung fu type of guy. You know what I'm saying? He knew kung fu and all that. He was the only one in the hood that could do karate, you know. So, <laughs> so Okay. That's what's yeah, up. Man. We got uh my my brother James checking in. Uh he said, What up, people? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I forget. Help me rem- remind me of James, uh, his name, his MC name. You man. know James, right? Which which James? Man, I know. I know this man. this you is know, this is people, this, man. this is the brother that 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 that's a part of the cipher with y'all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, my man, is that uh? I I, I don't want to get his name wrong. Is that M Dot? Nah, 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 not M Dot. Hey, hey, James, type your name in the, in, in the comment area, man, so we can acknowledge your name, you know, not just your, your government name, but your, your, your MC name that you use, because you was on the cypher with, with the brothers, yeah. the, Sh- the Chicago uh, Ill Cypher. And I'm sorry, I, I can't remember what it is right at the moment. Um, and then Kingdom say Death Rock Nation. Oh, definitely, Death Rock, Death Rock, Flame yeah. Rock, you know what I'm saying, Kingdom, you know what I'm saying, uh, Man, we had so many, man, that was coming through, man, hanging out with us, man. Vino, man, Velo, uh, King Supreme, you know what I'm saying? Ice Cold and them, Tracks, Pac, man. Man, Def Rock was deep. We was That's deep. Sure. When it That's came to sure. rap, we was deep. It was a lot of us, man. Let's talk about that, man. Let's let's get some history on Def Rock Nation. You know what I'm saying? Like, who founded Def Rock? Well, who was, who was mostly... You know what I'm saying? He was mostly, you know, head of that and and put that together. It was like JMD, Big Resky, you know what I'm saying? They all put that together, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Because we was all up under their umbrella. We, you know what I'm saying? So we younger than JMD. Right. You know what I'm saying? So JMD, like our big brother, so we younger than him. And, uh, you know, they all put that together, but we all came together. I can't forget about MC Main. Man, I'm so proud of you, MC Man. Hey, my father, I know I'm getting off topic. Uh-huh. But, man, to my brother, MC Man, man, you a soldier, man. You keep going, man, because, you know, man, things is, you know, he's been through some traumatic stuff, man, and he's still fighting, man. He's doing great, man. So hey. I want to give a shout-out to MC Man, man. You hey, know. But, but for the record, though, for his followers of today that don't know him by MC Man, what what what's the date? What's the name he go by today? Oh, uh, Amin Ra. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we got to connect gonna these dots. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ride. That's his name. I'm going to ride. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Brother, you know, he, was, man, he was my guy, man, back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He from, he from Boys Town. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Trey Town. I'm from CPT. You know, but we both off 79th Street, though. Okay. And man, he was wicked, man. He was wicked, man. He wicked with that pen, man. That brother real wicked with that pen. I had mad yeah. respect for him. You know, I come up around Take the Great, too. You know what I'm saying? So Take the Great was one of the ones I seen, you know, with Tomo Records and all that, you know, doing this thing up there. You know, so, yeah. Shout out to uh, Salt Body. He say, salute living legends. Oh, definitely, Short Body. That's my man. I just did a song with Short Body not too long. I mean, it was about a year or two ago, me and Short Body did a song together, you know what I'm saying? But... It was dope, man. I came to his little session, you know what I'm saying? When, when I, I went to a session, and uh, my man from Crucial Conflict, uh, he was there, uh, Never. Never mm-hmm. was there. And uh, him and, uh, what's the name, was doing a song that him and Short Body was doing a cut together. Okay. You know, my thing is, I always wanted to make Chicago, I didn't want to be separated. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Even though I know we're from out south, but I wanted out west and the south side to really click with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to hear about the West Side all the time. Everybody yeah. from my West, even if I didn't know them, I heard about them. You right, know right. What I'm so I used to always want the South Side to click with the West Side and let them know that, man, this is all hip hop, man. Even yes. though the West Side cemented 
and put it down and put us on, you know what I'm saying, for our Chicago go, you know what I'm saying? But then I used to hear about Common too. Yeah. So I'm hearing about Common. I'm hearing about Doug Infinite, you know what I'm saying? Even Kanye. I'm hearing about all these cats yeah. just coming up, you know what I'm saying? Just hearing their names ringing in the streets and all this and that, you know. But I know yeah. I'm going a little bit ahead of time. Oh, no, no. It's, I'm it's just good. saying, as far as history go, you know what I'm saying? These yeah, guys yeah. are out here grinding, man. For sure. Kingdom say, Kingdom say Death Rock Nation was after Purple Mansion and before Empire of Destruction, No Pity Committee, and Ill State Assassins. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Kingdom definitely know. Kingdom yeah. was there from day one. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, Kingdom was there from day one. Yeah. You can't take nothing from, you know what I'm yes. saying, brothers that was there from day one because, you know, we all came together because we all love hip-hop, you know? Yep. yep. You know, I made a song, you know what I'm saying, uh, a couple of years ago called I Love Hip-Hop. Yes. But if you listen to the lyrics of hip hop, the lyrics I put in there was just telling everybody that this whole world is moving uh -huh. because of hip hop. This whole world. Look right. at it. Yeah. Ain't nothing moving without hip hop. I don't care what you got going on. Breaking, dancing, you DJing, you graffiti writing, you know what I'm saying? You 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 doing what you love to do to express yourself. Hip hop is nothing but expression, and right. it saves my life, man. Right, it saves my life, man. You know, I know I'm all over the place, man. But oh no, man, it's my life, man. it's good, man. I'm, it's good, you know, especially when you speaking from the heart, man. That's what really matters. Yeah, man. Hip hop saved my life, man, because you know I was in these streets, and I was in these streets tough, man. I was a youngster that was really getting it, you know what I'm saying? That was out there, you know what I'm saying, with the big timers, you know what I'm saying? So I'm out there doing what I'm doing, doing I ain't got no business doing it, but man, we had to get it, you know what I'm saying? So we getting it. I'm still rapping. They're like, right. damn, nigga, you doing this? Hey, you doing that? I'm like, man, I love <laughs> rapping. They like, damn, nigga, you the only nigga I know that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that's in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's really in the hood. I ain't joking about that. I'm really in the hood and I'm really rapping. So they're like, man, you you, you know, you really doing your thing. So um, to bring along DLJ, you know, for those who don't know, DLJ is my real name. Okay. You know, my favorite rappers coming up was uh, LL Cool J and Chuck D. Okay. I love Chuck D. Love, man. Chuck D was my man. You know, but L was my man too, though, but I had a love for Chuck D, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Chuck, man, Chuck D was so different and had, man, he had a style that, man, that was just, man, you know what I'm saying? And Flav just brought that. You know, I always looked at, man, if you're going to roll together, you need to roll together as a crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so when you got your crew with you, man, then you, you can do more things than you just trying to do by yourself. You know, because you got more people that's promoting you and all that, man. Yeah, and big I, shout outs, man, to my man DJ Reese, man. To my word. man DJ Reese, man. That's, that's my 30 year buddy there, man. That's Lil Dirk's uh DJ, you know what I'm saying? He's from Cobb too, you know. Okay. All right. Oh, that's yeah. good stuff. I like your ideology, man, about about the unity, man. I mean, I think oh, yeah. yeah, you know, I think hip, that was one of the things that impressed me a lot. And still to this day, when we can come together, you know what I'm saying, uh from from different nationalities and backgrounds and walks of life and participate collectively in this thing we love called hip hop. It's amazing, man, that, at, at what we can create when we do that. Definitely. definitely. Because it, it, hip hop is not made for me to go against you. You know, nowadays is a different time. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. kids is raised up on different structure. They ain't doing stuff like we used to do. They ain't cut from our cloth. But you can't get mad at them if you didn't raise them. Right. If you didn't show them, you know what I'm saying. You can't sit up here and say, "Man, how, man, how you get that, or how you, or or, or how you doing that?" If you didn't give him the format, if you didn't give it to him, then how can you judge that man on how he eating? Because you're not feeding him. Right. You know what I'm saying. So when people try to say, "Man, I don't like him because he's talking about this," well, he might be talking about this because this is the environment that he in. Right. You might not got that environment that you got. You might was raised in the suburbs, was raised in a great neighborhood, was raised off TV and got a lot of TV, you know what I'm saying, history. He may not have had a TV. His right. TV was looking outside the window. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still, what's going on. So when I talk about unity, I talk about unity, man, from bridging the gap, man. And, and it, you know, 
every black man in Chicago, man, I, I was born out west. I'm from the south side, man. I didn't live. I'm over east now. You know what I'm saying? I lived up north. I done been everywhere in Chicago, man. That's why I say I'm so Chicago, man. I done been. I done lived everywhere, and now, we now, all the same. Now let me ask you though, what 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 was what was the cause of you living in different neighborhoods? Well, for number one. As a shorty, you know what I'm saying? I was living with my mom's name. You know what I'm saying? My mom's was, was out west. So I was born out there with her. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then my mother moved from out west. Then she moved to, to the south side. Then I moved out there to the south side. Then she got tired of living there. Then moved out there to the hundreds. Okay. And did all of that and that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So gotcha. I was following, so you-, you know, where I was being led. You yeah, so saying. with your mom, y'all just kind of was more yeah, yeah, more than yeah, often, yeah, 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 more often than not. Okay, yeah. so and and that gave you a, a, a at an early age that gave you insight to different communities around Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave me a, a a lot of different insight. But what I know is, everywhere I went, everybody pretty much the same. It ain't no yeah. different from this different. You know what I'm saying? From this block, yep. you go on yep. this block. They chilling over here. You go on that block. They chilling over there. You go on that block. They chilling over there. And and guys is really man. Guys really cool man. They don't be on that. It be the guys who ain't got nothing to do man. I ain't got nothing to yeah. do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let yeah. me go call some ruckus or something man. But other than that, <laughs> these guys yeah. out here man, they just trying to make it man from day to day man. You know what That's I'm saying? They trying to make it, trying to see how they gonna survive and how they gonna feed their family. But as far yeah. as hip hop though man. I thought that that was the gap, or well, that was the, the the bridge that would bring us all together because we all love to do it. I didn't mm. think that it would come to, okay, we're going to bring game banging into hip hop. Now mm-hmm. we're going to bring it. But even though, you know, you had people in there that's different, you know what I'm saying, different things, you know what I'm saying, you got your people over here just repping this, people over here just repping that, and you got to expect that. But still, our mutual ground is, Hip hop, yes, you know, yes. flame rock, yes. stone to the bone, crazy with it, crazy with it. me. Right, I'm folks over here with it. You know what I'm saying? So, but when we seen each other, it was like we all as one. It didn't matter. Yeah, I don't care because yeah. you from this deck, or I'm from that deck, or Kingdom from that deck, or he from that deck. Our mutual ground and our mutual respect was we love hip hop. There you go. There you go. That's and that's what I'm talking about. And, and and when you think about it, that's powerful. That's powerful because I don't think there's anything else that could bring people a people together from different sets. Because you can't even do that with the games because that's 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 that that that's exactly what doesn't work. This gang and that gang, if they from two different sets, they're not gonna get along together. But if they are under, if they are under that representing hip hop that's the only way i've seen it work i've seen guys come from different 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 cliques up under the gang umbrella but because it's hip hop it like you say it didn't matter you know what i'm saying because that's what made us feel uh welcome and and, and kept us focused and kept us creative and put a, and, and and made a lot of us say I'm gonna put the gang stuff down for right now because it's all about man, man man let's keep it <laughs> hey artistic let's keep it 100 man Hip hop has brought the world together, man. For sure. Hip hop has brought the world together, man. I don't care what nobody say. Hip hop has brought the world together, man. Yeah. Look at what yeah. these young guys doing, man. They got people overseas loving them. Yeah. Different yeah. nationalities loving them. Your father, your father and mother may hate their guts, but they kids love the hell out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The white, black, Asian, Jamaican. African, whatever you are, you know that you know what I'm saying. Hip hop is the nucleus that brings us all together, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying. And yeah. back in the day, man, when we used to just sit back, man, and just listen to, you know what I'm saying, Scott Larock, and and and, and listening to to to, uh, to KRS One them and Chuck D them, man, we got we got hyped off of it, man. But then. Yeah. When we started rapping, and when JMD and them was, was rapping, that became who I started listening to. Yeah. So when I'm listening to them, and I'm tuning out everybody else because I know where you from is where you got to promote. They don't need me 
Big Daddy Kane didn't need me to promote him no more than he was already. Yeah. You know who needed me? JMD needed me. Yeah. Big Reski needed me. And yeah. that's what the whole culture is is about. We need each other, man. We got to come together. You know what I'm saying? And man, we need to promote each other, man. Because they don't need no help. They yeah. got millions of dollars. Yeah. yeah I love them. Yeah. I love them. That's but a good man, way to think about it, man. Right That's a good way to think about it. Hey, so let's do this real quick, L. We're going to take a uh, a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to get into some of your music and talk a little bit more about some history. Okay? Sure. Peace. So we are watching the RYC Live show. I'm the host of this show tonight. My name is Artistic, if y'all didn't know. And our special guest is L1, a.k.a. DLJ. So, uh... We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we will be right back. Once again, you're watching the RYC Live show. Want to fight? Want some more? My style. Fight me. We came here to battle. Bruce Lee in the mix, right here, RYC Live. Tell me, I did not just beat him. You're pretty good. Are you tired of shopping for wigs in the back of a beauty supply store? At Random Glam Wigs and Accessories, we give wig lovers the shopping experience they deserve. Personal attention in a chic boutique atmosphere. Fabulous wigs and unique accessories, all at affordable prices. Try on as many wigs as you like. Our friendly glam consultants will be happy to help you find the perfect look to fit your lifestyle. Be a Glamazon and discover Random Glam Wigs and Accessories. We are conveniently located at 7207 South Exchange Avenue in the historic South Shore District. Shop where you're appreciated and get the personal attention you deserve. Visit us online at randomglam.com. Random Glam Wigs and Accessories, 7207 South Exchange Avenue. Welcome back to the RYC Live show with your host tonight, Artistic, and our special guest, L1, a.k.a. DLJ. So, hey, let me ask you, where did you come up with the name L1? How did that come to be? Mike Supreme. Mike Supreme, my man, Mike Supreme. Well, uh, I'm going to keep it I'm going to keep it a 100. So my brother, you know, is D-Money. So D-Money... And him and Deuce, you know, said so they real tight. So they used to always call me Juan Epstein. That's what they always called me, Juan Epstein from, from Sweat Halls back in the day. But that's not <laughs> story, though. So they used to call me Juan Epstein, and uh, Deuce used to call me Elian. So he's like, Elian, hey, what's going on? So every time he say Elian, and then my brother would be like, Lil Juan, Lil Juan, what's happening? Hey, hey Lil Juan. At the time, I wasn't little. You know, I was bigger than what I am now. Right. He's like, hey, little one, hey, what's happening? What's happening? I'm like, man, ain't nothing happening. 
So Mike Supreme, which which name is Buster, you know what I'm saying? His name Buster, but we was in a group called IMF together, eating it up, you know, F okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. But <laughs> me, me, Mike Supreme, Cadillac, and Chin Checker, you know what I'm saying? We was at IMF. So Mike Supreme was like, he was like, man, yeah, man. He was like, I like that name, man. But he was like, man, you ain't little, man. So we're going to call you L, man. They're going to call you L1, man. I'm like, yo, he, he said, yes, sir. that's going to be your name, man. We're going to call you L1, man. That's your name from now on. I was like, yeah. all right, cool, man. That sounds good. You know what I'm saying? But it came up from my brother at Deuce now. You know what I'm saying? Always nice. Little, you know what I'm nice. Saying? That's cool. You know, like, you know, some of us named our, our own self, our, gave the name to ourselves. But some people actually gave the name to us. Say, hey, we're going to call you this, or you're going to be this from now on. So that's oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And then, man, they had so many names for me, man. They didn't even know who you was talking about. They'd be saying one name. I could be standing in a circle. They'd be like, man, you seen Elion? Everybody be like, Elion? Who's Elion? They'd be like, man, I'm talking about DJ, right? Because, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the hood, everybody know me as DJ. Okay. I'm just regular DJ, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And then down in the hood, you know what I'm saying, a little bit further, I may be DLJ. Okay. And then from DLJ, from some other, some other people, call me L1, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So, yeah, I got a lot of aliases on Saturday okay. Night Street. You okay. don't know who they'd be talking to if you ain't been, a, you know, if you ain't came around or nothing like that, man. But, man, like I said, man, you know, um, hip-hop, man, you know, Listen, this is Twilight Tone now, man, and listening, man, to, you know, all the hot DJs, man, playing it, and then coming up on HBK, man, and, 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 and coming up on KKC, man, you couldn't do nothing but fall in love with it, man, you know, and I know young guys, you know what I'm saying, nowadays, you know, they ain't trying to hit the old cats, they looking at us, us like, man, y'all, y'all salty, no, ain't nobody salty at y'all, man. I'm happy as hell y'all taking this to another plateau. What I'm not happy about is that y'all turning this into a gang thing, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Keep your hip hop, hip hop, man. If y'all got beef, man, take it somewhere else, man. You ain't got to put it on wax, man. You know, every other week another rapper getting killed. And look at all these rappers from Chicago that got killed. You know what I'm saying? And, and then getting killed over, over, over words. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe you. You know, I'm not just saying words, but you know, action happens. You know, people may go do something, and then you put it. You know, you gonna go do something, and then you gonna go throw it on wax. Of course, here they come. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You shoot yeah. my man. The next thing you know, you gonna put it on the record. Talking about yeah, I just went through there and boom, 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 and knocked him down. Of course, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Of course, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have all that happen. So, you know, I figure like this, man. When it comes down to hip hop, man. You know, we should all just, man, just get along with each other, man. I know, you know, guys going to do what they got to do. It's all about a money thing. It's all about a flash thing. It's all about, you know what I'm saying, who got the hottest lyrics. You know, my guy on my block, he the hottest rapper in the world. My guy on my block, he the hottest, you know, he the hottest rapper in the world, man, you know. But I had mad respect, man, coming up for D.A. Smart, man, you know what I'm saying. D.A. Smart was, man, that was one of my guys, man, you know. Listening to Bump J, man, Bump J, man, ridiculous on the mic, man. You know, this, this, mm -hmm. this is, and these two different, you know what I'm saying? These two different MCs. Yes. But you got to respect how Chicago coming because when you go out west, they got a whole different style out west. Yeah, that yeah. That you got to love that out west put the city on the map. Yeah. Ain't no hate. That's right. real talk. Yeah. Common sense, you know what I'm saying? When Common came through, you know Common did his thing. You yeah. got to respect guys like Common, man. You got to respect yeah. guys that put in that work, man, before anybody came. Before there was a a, 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 a little dirt or a, a little this or a little that or a young this or a young <laughs> that, you got to give respect to those that was that was here grinding it out. At one point in Chicago, let's keep it 100, they ain't even like hip-hop. So right. now it was like hip-hop against house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we came up. We came up with the uh, word called "crush." Chicago okay. rappers united to serve house. We were so mad going to parties because all they was doing was playing house music. And they wouldn't play no rap. Right, they right. They wouldn't play no rap. So we'd be like, man, what the hell, man? It's rap here, man. Chicago, man. Shit, we hip too. You know what I'm saying? We ain't just no house town, even though Chicago is branded. Right. It's the house city. We all know this. Everybody knows this. 
know what I'm saying? But we got, you know, we got rappers in too. You know what I'm saying? So, so let, know, let, let, let me ask you this. Talk a little bit about what WHBK means to you or what it meant to you during no, everything. The yeah. It meant everything. It meant everything. It means that a local rapper is getting some shine that the big stations weren't even paying no attention to. It meant everything. You made it to HBK, you was a star. That's mm -hmm. how you felt. Like, I'm a star. Because I made it to HBK, and they didn't play my music. I'm a star. Even though we don't even treat it like that. You know what I'm saying? We don't play it like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody getting, you know, all big-headed over that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't tripping on that. Everybody go to HBK. But to HBK, to a local rapper, it was everything to us. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that was our GCI. Yeah. That was yeah. our, you know what I'm saying, power station. You know what I'm saying? That was our 92.3. HBK was, hey, man, if he make it on HBK, man, you somebody, man. You know, people was riding around back then. You know, we taping it. You know what I'm saying? We taping HBK. You know what I'm saying? Right. Taping it. So you can walk down somebody's block, and they bumping your music because they didn't uh, grab it off of HBK. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So HBK man was everything to a local rapper man, especially one that you know what I'm saying that was trying to be something and what nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Interesting man. Interesting. So let's do this. Let's go into one of your videos, and then we can talk about it a little bit afterwards. But let's take a look uh, at the song you had created called uh, "Grind Time." And, it grind uh, time with me yeah. and King Tuck. You and King Tut. So let's uh let's take a look at that and then we could talk about it a little bit uh afterward, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Give me one second here. Yeah, big shout out to my man King Tut, man. Man came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere, but came, man, still doing his thing. Yeah, that's what's up. Let's see here. Let me get this here. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, here we go. Welcome to Gold. Yeah. yeah. FM, man. Only way you gonna do this for yourself is learn how to grind. Get out there, get off your ass, grind, nigga. Grind time, you know it's never, never. King Tuckin' me a war, nigga, it's whatever. Me and my niggas suck so hard, no matter what the weather. After my other ass goes, say nobody better. Grind time, grind time, you know it's never, never. King Tuckin' me a war, nigga, it's whatever. Me and my niggas suck so hard, no matter what the weather. After my other ass goes, say nobody better. Grind time, grind time, you know it's never, never. I'll let you see what I'm poppin'. I hope you know we ain't playin'. Got that hot shit, but it's dry. It's every mob in the spot. It's in my beat, it's bitch. I'm smokin' good. A little lovely, it's just me and my bitch. Clear it up quick. On the fuck, nigga, fuck when it's crushing in. Hoping you can duck, nigga, duck, nigga. Square one on one and say fuck it, nigga. Cause when I square with your bitch, I'm gon' fuck it, nigga. That's simple. Naughty by nature, I'm lame, nigga. Who's gonna hate you? Wanna hate us for greatness? You can tell it's my genetic makeup. Bring the alarms, I'm hoping these niggas wake up. Your lease is up. You can move out and you can hang up. I'm um, sick of living these niggas to get their weight up. They're trending flotation devices, helping these niggas stay up. I'm um, shepherd sick in the kitchen, homie, don't wait up. My sky's the limit. Hey, I'm going way up, uh, yeah. time to get this paper, it's not a game, nigga, game, nigga, since I ripped the mic, it's not the same, nigga, same, they been mobbing, no CG, them be the same, niggas, never forgetting where I came or who I came with, us. about to take a flight without a dollar plane ticket, plane going as hard as a must, it's only one way to get it. Fucking ETH is fly around the city limits. Beautiful women in tight denim, just brown skinned it. Back on the ground, my music falling on deaf ears. Lift my face to the sky, I'm smoking the atmosphere. Pussy nigga, yep, it's grind time now or never. After my last coast, ain't nobody better. Grind time, you know it's now or never. King Titan, me and Warren, nigga, it's whatever. Me and my nigga suss a lot, no matter what the weather. After my last coast, ain't nobody better. Grind time, I'm not the sky. I'm barred off of certain blocks, word on 
the streets that I'm knowing take you niggas spot and make them bop, bop to the right, to the left. Squeeze they whole neck till they ain't yeah, got a breath. What a bag with the check. These niggas they got commas, living with their baby mamas or they mamas. You don't want to see me, you'd rather go to FB with some fake hitters and post up on IG. Nigga, that's an IV, fucking with the CP, AB, you cheat, money making TT, versatile. Get money like the mercantile, hat and shoes both made out of crocodile. End up in a murder file, coming with the wax style. Hardest nigga doing it, don't get fooled by the fucking smile. Always on the crowd, eyes open like an owl. You can keep waiting, L1 on it now. Pay you to communicate, keep a nigga upstate. It's grind time, homie, take your risk, yo, it don't be late. Grind time, check your wrist, yo, it don't be late. It's grind time, check your wrist, yo, it don't be late. Grind time, you know it's now or never. King Titan, me and Juan, nigga, it's whatever. Me and my niggas hustle all the matter with the weather. After my be last coast, say nobody better. Grind time, grind time, you know it's now or never. King Titan, me and Juan, nigga, it's whatever. Me and my niggas hustle all the matter with the weather. After my be last coast, say nobody better. Grind time, grind time. Yeah, it's grind time. FM Family Mob, Last Coast, L1, King Tut. I'm serious in the building, because it's serious right here. It's grind time. Not one day, every day is grind time. Ain't no stopping us. Either you with us or you against us. Either get with us or get gone. It's grind time, homie. We ain't playing no games. Get your grind on so you can get your shine on. Because me and King Tut, we grind every day. Every day. We gon' eat every day, grind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, man. So uh tell us a little bit about that project and the and and you know the story behind that uh project. Well, a grind time come from if you was my Facebook friend, I woke up every morning. And I uh, sent out a text every morning to all my Facebook friends. You know, I say, uh, today is this day. Today's grind time. You know, Monday, wake up. It's time to get your grind on. You know what I'm saying? So I sent out a text to everybody every morning saying it's, it's grind time. You know, today is Tuesday. It's grind time. Today, Wednesday, is grind time. You know, so... Me and my guy King Tuck was talking. He was like, "Man, we need to do a song about that, man." Because you send the text out. I mean, all my homies that was just up. You know, I was just a motivational. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, so you could do your thing. And I was like, "Man, grind time." You know. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, man, that's interesting. You know, um, sending out a text. And I like, I like, I like. The style, you know, your delivery style, you and King Tut, man. I mean, you know, that's another thing. Chicago, we got such great MCs here, man, with 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 versatility, man. It's just it's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You know, you try to come up with your own style, in which, you know, you, you gotta think about it, man. If you got a million rappers, man, everybody not gonna sound different, man. You're gonna have somebody that's similar to everybody. You gotta think about it, you know what I'm saying? You got Michael Jordan, then you got Kobe. That, that you know what I'm saying? That, you know, rest in peace, Kobe. But you know, he imitated Mike. You're gonna have people that imitate other people's styles. Yeah. And there's nothing that you can, you know, you can get upset about because you got so many styles out here that somebody gonna sound like somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody not just gonna, you know, I know. Man, I sound like no, you don't. You sound like <laughs> him, but you know, he ain't tripping on that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you do his style better. But maybe that, because like I say, you know, Chuck D was my guy, man. You know, That's Chuck D was my guy. But, you know, back in the day, man, when I heard Twister, man, Twister was off the chain. Then I heard D.A. Smart, D.A. Smart off the chain. But yes. then I heard JMD, Big Rest Ski, Rest in Peace Rest Ski, and then Top Dog and Double C and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, Edgar E and all that, man. That's why I come up under, man. But That's what's up. You know, me, man, I, I always looked at Chicago like, man, Everybody, but to me, this is just me, and I ain't trying to start up with nobody. It just seemed like everybody just took from us. Okay, that's just how I feel. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't feel like no other city is like us. They just take from us. Yeah, they look at our style, goddamn it, and take our style and run with it because we was doing the shit first. Yeah, bottom line, we was doing it yes. first. Yeah, you know that's how I feel. 
Yeah, you know, I'm the big five vote. You know, yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, bro. yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I posted it up. You know, uh, oh, yeah. you know. I think it was uh, uh, Mr. RYC Live saying, you know, happy birthday to you. So oh, yeah, that's my brother. Man. Yeah, that's yeah, brother. yeah. That's what's up. Uh, and rest yeah. in peace to Shadow too, man. My man Shadow, man. Rest in peace to him, man. Word that was up. one of my guys, man. I grew up with in the hood, man. You know, so uh, rest in peace to him, man. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of guys, man. Like there, there's the comment. There's the comment right there. I was just trying to pull it back up. So that came from Mister Mister RYC Live himself. <laughs> yeah, so he was just saying Happy Born Day. Yeah, man. Like uh, 3D, man. He rest in peace. 3D was my guy. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know, 3D. You know. Yeah. And man, he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? And man, I was um I was real tight with uh MC Pooh, Casey Jam, all them, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Going nice. to the Blue God Girl, you know what I'm saying? That was our mean point, you know, back then in the day, that was our mean point, you know. So you look at the younger you look at the young guys now, man, they doing what they're supposed to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I'm not glorifying and saying that, you know, the the, the 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 killing and the game banging is coming along with it, you know what I'm saying? They 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 doing what they gotta do, man. They yeah. do what they got to do, man, to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? You can say that I don't mess with them. Well, I don't mess with them. But them young boys, man, they generating jobs, man. Yeah. They generating jobs, man. You yes. walk around here, man, and you and you and, and you giving somebody a job that probably ain't even even had a job because yeah. you making so much buzz. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. 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 You making so yeah. much buzz, man. But yeah. my history is this, man. DLJ has always been a person that just love rap, man. Whether I'm good or bad or bad or good or whatever you may feel about me, how I rap, man, I just love rap, man, you know? Yeah. I used to walk around with books, notebooks and books to my stacks of them, like 50 of them. Okay. Raps in each book, raps in each books, raps in these books, because that's how much I loved it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... You know what I'm saying? I used to just sit down and just write all the time, write all the time once I got into it, man. Yeah. You know, and hip hop, man, it's always been a culture that I thought that we would always rely on because we always had it. You uh you are also a member of the uh the Legends of Chicago hip hop. Uh tell us how you got involved in that movement and what it means to you. Oh, you know, uh, Black Ice gave me a call. You know, Black Ice is one of the ones. Him and Jam D uh, got together and decided that uh, that they wanted to uh, form a, a movement, you know, Legends of Chicago Hip Hop, you know what I'm saying? For all the guys that was in the underground that pushed Chicago hip hop music. So they got together and they decided that uh, L1 it was a legend, you know, you can't. And I'm going to keep it a buck. You can't call yourself a legend. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to do it. Somebody right. else is supposed to call you a legend. You ain't right, supposed right. to say, yeah, I'm a legend. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> this, I'm that. You can't do that. You got to let right. somebody else do that for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't be like, yeah, I'm a legend. Nah, it don't work like that. You got to put the work in for it. And there we all go. put the work in. And uh, yeah. I was one of the ones that they considered a legend because, number one, I came out with a record. In 1987, Fool Get With It, Def Ain't It, under Ace Recordings, you know what I'm saying? So I put my legwork in, man. Yeah. I put my legwork in for those who, you know, was following DOJ. And DOJ is heavy on 79th Street, you know. Yeah. 79th is where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Where I was born and raised, you know. Well, I feel I was born and raised. You know, I was born on the west side, but, you know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, 79th is just where I've always been, where I always rep. you know what I'm saying? I love my block. You know, some people call me Mr. CPT because we <laughs> call it the CPT over there because I love it so, so much. And, you know, we just, we do what we have to do, man, you know, to try to get it. Now, what does the CPT stand for? It stands for Carpenter, you know what I'm saying? Okay, gotcha. But, you know, sure, when, the you know, when we was younger and all that, we was calling it crushing punks, leaving them twisted. That's okay. what we used to say. Crushing punks, leaving them twisted. You know, <laughs> that's what we used to say all the time. But nice. Still, at the same time, though, man, just watching, you know what I'm saying? I used to ride, when I used to ride the L, right? Uh -huh. And I ride past the Wall of Fame. See uh -huh. all of the feet right, man. That was, man, that was, that was exciting, man. Yes, sir. Brothers, man, that, you man, that's that's talent, man. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's talent, man. That graffiti yeah. writing is talent, man. DJing is talent, man. Yeah. Anybody can't DJ? Yeah. Come on, we get on the table, they be terrible. <laughs> you don't want to tell them, though. Right. Like, it take a talent to DJ. It take a talent to graffiti write. It take a talent to break dance or to dance. You got to give credit, man, what credit is due, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to give credit what credit is due, man. And, you know, a lot of people, man, you know what I'm saying, from the city of Chicago, we so culture. You know what I'm saying? We got so much culture here that, man, you never know what you may get out of shot, man. Yeah. Shot produce what we got. We got the brat. Come on, man. Right, right. You got the right. brass that came up out of here, man. You got, you know what I'm saying, Tom Twisted to come up out of here, man. Twisted, you know what I'm saying? You got, man, you got, you got talent, man. You got yes. talent, man, to come from Chicago, man. These boys don't be playing. They take their talent serious, you know what I'm saying, like everybody else. And I know I'm long-winded. I always say I'm long-winded, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to be long-winded. I like to be <laughs> short-winded, you know what I'm saying? But I'm long-winded. I like to talk, you know what I'm saying? But. But to keep it real, though, man, that's what I say, man. Um, if you get into the uh, joint uh, that I made, Death Before Dishonor, man. Like yeah. I say, man, I love my city, man. Yeah. I yeah. die before I disrespect Chicago, man. I love Chicago, man. Through the ups, through the downs, through the goods, through the bad, through whatever I went through, man. I still love it because it always, it made me who I am, man. You know, I'm a stand-up guy, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I try to do what I can, man. I try to help out wherever I can, you know. Well, let's take a look at that since you mentioned it. Uh, death before dishonor. Let's take yeah, a look. Me at and that. the general. Yeah, me and the general. Word. This is WGDN Action News. We're live in the presence of legends, L. Vaughn and the General. They don't deal in devious, diabolical, dastardly deeds because it's death before dishonor. These messages are brought to you by Italian Fiesta, taking all damn day to deliver. Live in the hood, WGDN Action News. Back to you, folks. Yeah, general. They want to know how I finesse with it. How I'm the best I'm with the it. How I spit a rhyme so it can't nobody mess with it. Uh, how I took my time and my money and invested it. How I took the grind and the hustle and perfected it. Uh, and if you're rolling with me, let's get it. Yeah, I got some talent. Since birth, I was blessed with it. I'm tired of all the killing. I'm up to my neck with it. Rappers out here drilling. And I'm really not impressed with it. Uh uh. And I'm on the track with L1 And if you don't like it, then you can get the hell on I spit that crack when I'm on the track You can tell I'm sharp as a tack With the impact of a nail gun uh, It's legends in your presence So pay attention while we teach these lessons to you peasants Yes sir, it's a blessing that I'm present To learn you little scrubs a little lesson It's death before the sun I'm more to the shot Before I disrespect it, mother I'm loyal to the shy Before I disrespect the motherfucker, I die 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 We're live with poet activist Black Ice Black Ice, in your opinion What are some of the things that can be implemented To curtail the violence that plagues our community? Well, first of all, Brother Raheem, I want to thank WGDN News for being the ear to the street and telling the real news in our city. Now, it's going to take a full court press to curtail this violence that you just mentioned. Number one, we need more mentorship programs in our schools, in the youth detention centers. We need a full court press. We need everybody in the community to protest all these liquor stores that are not supporting these youth programs. Shut down these gas stations and these Arabs that come into our community and stop our community. These Chinese food stores that, that we hope to send their children to college while we got a big arm um, straight to get our children into college. If they're not supporting the efforts of our community, shut them down. These churches, church you attend, if they're not involved in the community, if they're to help save lives, then, then stop paying your tithes. We need a full press. And this is what you see here today. 
every organization, organization in the city of Chicago have come, come together and they, they said that we want to stop the violence. We are loyal to our city, we are loyal to our cause, and we are loyal to stop the violence in Chicago. There you have it. Live in the hood of the GD in Action News. Y'all yeah. are not watching, talking, talking with your fingertips. Never, never come, come to the city. city. Always on some who is this? Bring your ass, ass out. out. You will see, see who we are. L. Ward, last coach, General C. Like, like talk about it. We don't, we don't even go fuck without, without it. Well, you can't hear me. You should have always even thought about it. They were still texting me. me. God still sweating me. 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 All right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Word up. So tell us what was going through your mind when you came up with the concept for this concept for this song. Oh, death before dishonor. Yeah, I'd rather, you know, before I disrespect my city, I'd rather die before I disrespect Chicago. Okay. Because that's how okay. I feel about Chicago, because I love it so much. Okay. Okay. I love the shot so much. You know what I'm saying? I love Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I always have loved Chicago. It is Chicago or nothing to me. Bottom yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is how it is. I hate to be, you know what I'm saying, all arrogant and all this and that, but man, I roll with my city, man. Yeah. I ain't roll with nobody else, man. 
<laughs> New York don't roll with me. You know what I'm saying? New York don't roll with me. New York don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? New York don't roll with me. <laughs> I roll with my city because I love my city, man. I love these people here in the shop, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's because up. Because there's so much diversity here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's so much. It, this is a political state, man. It's political. Everything is political. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is political. I'm telling you, from the streets, from the streets to the mayor, to the governor, to everything. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, if I was to break down streets and how the streets work, you would be like, oh, man, I ain't know that. Yeah, right. that's why people got certain titles and what they call themselves and what they do because everything here is political, man, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you definitely display a lot of passion, my brother. You know what I'm saying? It's obvious that, you know, this means a lot to you, like okay. you say, Chicago hip-hop, and you express it. You express it in your speech, you know, and, and in, in, your, in your actions. You know, you express it hardly. And, you know, like, you know, that's interesting, man. You know, sometimes people say they down and they represent this and that, but it's like they put on a, a facade. You know, they say yeah. that in front of the camera, but then when the camera goes off, they on to something else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know how they do. You know how they do that. Turn the camera off. I got you. When the camera off, you don't even hear from me. Right, 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 right. You know, and, when you're up, and when you're up, everybody messes with you. When you're up, everybody messes with you. When you're down, you don't see nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know what I'm saying, this city here, you know, this city here is one of them cities, man, that you, you just got to work hard in, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody giving you nothing here, man. You got to... You got you to gotta earn your keep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you ain't going nobody's block and taking over nothing. Yeah. You ain't taking over nothing. Yeah. you ain't coming with no army, you ain't taking over nothing. Because everybody, you know, trying to keep what they got and trying to do what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, we make songs like Stop the Violence and all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Because man, we trying to, we trying to, we trying to see our people prosper. You yes. know what I'm saying? We're trying to see them grow up, you want to see your daughter graduate from college. And let me give a shout out but to my bonus daughter, man, that's graduating from college. Hey, tomorrow, man. She's graduating from Agnes Scott in Georgia, man. I'm so proud of her, man. That's what's up. Ryan Hayes Owens. Yes. That's what's yes, up. My bonus daughter, man. Give a shout out, man, to my to my other daughter, man, Deja, man, with Denise Jones. You know, what's it's up? all about family, man. It's all about family, man. And doing what you got to do, man, just to make it here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, you know it's been a it's been an honor and a privilege to have you on the show, man. Just to share a little bit. We know we can't fit all of your history in one hour, right. but it's great to just be able to still, like I say, leave a few breadcrumbs for somebody to pick up afterwards. You know, because you know people people come and go in life, and if you don't, whatever you do in terms of your contributions in whatever it is, it don't necessarily have to be hip hop. Whatever it is that you love to do. If you don't share it with the world, it's almost like you've come and gone and nobody even knew that you existed because you never made it available for people to see. That's so right. I think that it's great that, you know, you what you have done, your contributions and putting it out there and continue. Like you say, you ain't you ain't it ain't you ain't done yet. So oh, yeah. we know oh, you yeah. got we know you got future projects coming up, just like oh, many yeah. of us. And it's great to see brothers, even as we get older, we're constantly doing work, putting in work, putting it out there to the people, you know, so that they can know what it is that we've done. That's another reason why we, why we thought it was a good idea to create a museum here in Chicago so that people can come to Chicago and see what Chicago has been doing over, over right. all of these years. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Chicago got a lot of history, man. You can't, you can't knock it, man. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't, man, Chicago put in his work, man. Look at, you know, Selena Johnson, man. Come on, man. We got, we got stars here, man. We got stars yeah. here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't yeah. take nothing from nobody from here, man. Because yeah. they put in their work, man. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of talent here, man. Yeah. Even though, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, man, be hating on our city, man. But right now, man, Chicago on fire, man. Yeah. These boys out here, man, they spitting that fire, man. You can't take nothing from them, man. They yeah. making the hottest songs. You see, when the club come on, they playing Chicago, man. You can say, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it all the way up. Buck. You can say what you want to about Chief Keith. You can say what you want to about Chief Keith. Right. Put that boy song on there, man. 
<laughs> that boy, that boy song on in the club, man, he's sending that, he sending that boy to the moon. He's sending the club to the moon. I don't care if you make the hate him, the love him, you don't. He's sending the club to the moon, man. Yeah. And it's just like a hey, little dirt. You can you can you can, man, you can hate on little dirt for night or whatever, man. Put them boys song on in the club, them boys is sending the club to the moon. Mm -hmm. That's how mm -hmm. much people love them, man. And they're making music, man, that people like, man. You got to make stuff that people like, man. You can't make yeah. what you like. Yeah. What you yeah. like is what you like. Right. But if ain't nobody else liking it, man, you might as well, ah, oh, I'm gone. Yeah. You know what I'm but now let me ask you this. In, in harmony with what you just said, you know, that's fact. People, you got to make what people like. But do you think it's important to make whatever music you're making with a good message? Oh, definitely. definitely. Okay. You gotta have a message in your music, man. You yeah. gotta have a message in your music, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, hip hop, and to me, I got a song where said, man, hip hop comes from slavery. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, when they was playing the bongos and all that, man. Oh, they yeah. Giving out messages, man. They're giving yeah. out messages and all that, man. So you gotta have a message, man. You can't, everything can't be negative. You gotta yes. be a negative and a positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. all I'm saying is that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people say what they don't like. Right. Damn, damn, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? Find something that you do like. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Do what they do. You don't want them killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Right. I hate to see every time I turn on YouTube or some somebody else that got shot and somebody else coming after somebody else. And you know what I'm saying? And this and this, that, that. Man, these boys, these boys get money, man. Yeah. Man, they yeah. get money, man. And they trying to support their families, man. But artistic, man, let me tell you this, though, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Let me tell y'all some Chicago, man. I love y'all, man. I love I love my city, man. I love my city. You know what I'm saying? This is DLJ. A lot of people never heard of me. This is probably your first time ever hearing of me. You probably, you know what I'm saying? First time hearing the L1 or whatever. But, you know, I made my record back in 84. You know, full get with it. I mean, 87. Mm -hmm. Full get with it. Death ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Peace out to my man, Solo Red Line. Peace out to all the guys that's out there that's just pushing, man. Yeah. You know, y'all keep pushing, yeah. man. Doing what y'all do, man. Because, yeah. you know, man, people out there, man, they listening, man. And they love Chicago right now, man. So any uh, any upcoming, for any upcoming artist that's coming, trying to come out today, what would be your words of advice if you had to give any? If I had to give any for any upper card, just be yourself, man. Okay. Tell your story. Yeah. Tell your story. Don't be scared to tell your story. Tell your story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because somebody else, you know, is... It's a billion of us here. Somebody else might be going through the same story out of a billion people, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Rare, you know? Yeah. Like story, man. Tell That's what you want to do, man. You know? That's what's up. Well, hey, man, it's been an honor, like I say, and a privilege. We want to thank you for coming on the show. And we want to send a shout out to all our viewers out there. Thanks for tuning in to the show tonight. Appreciate all the comments. Shout out to all the legends of Chicago hip hop. And all, all, all the participants, all the viewers and supporters over the years, not just currently, but over the years, you know, uh, as my man, uh, Mr. RYC Live says, we, we, we like to kind of look at ourselves as the modern day WHBK. That's you know right. Because we know what WHBK did for us in the 80s. So we're trying to work real hard to make this platform something useful to people coming up now so that years later, they can look back at this and say, hey, you know, the RYC Live show is this. They did this. They did that. And that means a lot to me. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So You got to hey, put it in the archives. So yes. now that you have it, you know what I'm saying? That's why you got the museum. You got to put it in the archives. Yes. Peace out to everybody out there, man. Peace out to all the hip hoppers out there, man. Peace out to my man King Supreme, man. Peace out, man. The Mike Supreme, man. Peace out, man. To my man Chin Checker, man. Peace out, man. The Deep Money, man. Dudes, Fife, man. Peace out to all you guys out there, man. The Lil Dre, you know what I'm saying? Man, my homie, man. Rock D, what's up, baby? All right, see live, man. I love y'all, man. All right, well. We are gonna conclude, but uh, don't hang up just yet. I want to holler at you a little bit after afterwards in the backstage area. So, okay. but we'll be back next week, y'all. Uh, same time, eight p.m. with another special guest. And oh, real quick, uh, there's a hip hop event going on for anybody who would like to come out tomorrow. We're gonna be rocking over at the twelve thirteen uh, hip hop community center over here in Inglewood. Twelve thirteen uh, hip hop jam is going on. Coming down, it's going to highlight all the elements. 
Um, uh, also going to be celebrating uh, Ange 13's uh, birthday. Uh, so y'all can come on down and see her perform. Uh, DJ Jesse De La Pena will be on the wheels of steel, along with uh, DJ Kane, who's also a good Chicago graffiti artist. But all the elements will be represented well tomorrow night here in Inglewood, 1213 West 63rd Street. That's 1213 West 63rd, 63rd Street. Uh, the hip hop elements, Chicago grassroots event. So come on out and show your love. So y'all, we'll see y'all uh, tomorrow, hopefully. And if not, we'll see everyone else back next Friday with another episode brought to you live right here on the RYC Live Show, Fresh Fridays. All right, y'all, one love.